remembering and Memorial Day. Hi, I'm going to read Memorial Day and remembering. I'll start with remembering. The smell of hamburgers on the grill made Abby's stomach growl. The first burgers of the summer are what her father had called them. Abby knew he was right. It was the first time they pulled out the grill since the weather had warmed up. She knew her father was happy to have a special three-day weekend, too, which would explain why he was smiling and whistling while he cooked their dinner. Abby wasn't sure what was so special about a longer weekend since she and her brother Jake didn't have to go back to school. Abby knew that Memorial Day weekend meant a lot of things to a lot of people, but for her it meant the start of summer break. Abby was about to go help her father with the hamburgers when her mother called for her. Abby opened the screen door on the back porch so she could slide inside. Her mother was busy getting everything ready to make homemade ice cream. Abby's mouth watered as she thought about the delicious treat. They only had it twice a year. Her mother would make a batch on Memorial Day and then again on Labor Day. Abby wished she would make it more, but then she knew it wouldn't be as special. What's up, Mom? Abby asked as she sat down in the nearby chair. Your Aunt Lindy called. She wants to know if you can go with her to the cemetery for a few minutes now instead of later today. Abby nodded her head. They had all planned to go with her aunt later today, but she didn't mind going now. Abby watched as her mother sent her aunt a quick text confirming that Abby would go with her while she finished preparing the meal. Abby gave her mom a hug and then went outside to the flower garden. She picked a bouquet of flowers for her aunt to place in a vase at the gravesite. Then she waited for her aunt to arrive. She knew Memorial Day was important to Lindy. Her aunt's husband had died while he was deployed to another country. For her aunt, Abby knew this day was about remembering. Abby was too young to remember her uncle, but she had heard stories about his heroism and his love for his country. For her family, Abby had learned that on Memorial Day, people everywhere should remember the sacrifices that had been made for their country. Okay, now I'm going to read Memorial Day. There are many different holidays celebrated each year in America, but none are quite as special as Memorial Day. Memorial Day is observed on the last Monday of May. Originally, the holiday honored those who died in the military. Today, people continue this tradition. However, many use the day as a time to remember all of those special to them who have passed away. Memorial Day was first known as Decoration Day. The origins of the holiday began in the years after the Civil War. People wanted to, a way to honor those who died while fighting. On the first Decoration Day, nearly 5,000 people helped decorate the graves of the soldiers buried at Arlington National Cemetery. They honored both the Union and Confederate soldiers buried there. Eventually, Decoration Day would become known as Memorial Day. This day would later become a federal holiday recognized by the entire country. Americans celebrate Memorial Day in different ways. For some, the holiday is seen as the start of the summer season. For others, they attend special ceremonies or parades in which veterans are recognized for their service to the country. Still others visit cemeteries and continue with the traditions that Decoration Day once promoted. Some Americans spend each Memorial Day at Arlington National Cemetery. The President of the United States gives a speech there each year. It is at Arlington that the President will place a wreath on the tomb of the unknown soldier to honor all those who have served. The tomb holds the remains of several unidentified soldiers from multiple wars. Even when it is no longer Memorial Day, a soldier remains as a guard on the tomb. In recent years, one more addition has been made at, to Memorial Day. At 3 p.m. on Memorial Day, each person is asked to take a moment and be still and silent. He or she is to think about and remember all those who've died so that America and its citizens can be free.